Good morning, world. So, today we are. I, this is not a challenge for Lucy because she kind of has to. Yes. But I'm going to do it with her to support her for her first week low iodine diet. Diet. <laughs> so basically, she's so having. No salt. Anything that involves salt, salt or dairy, iodine. Dairy yeah, so. and bread. Yeah. So basically, mostly fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, she's doing this because she's going to have her radiation therapy mm -hmm. by the end of this month. I mean, we are two weeks prior to the radiation, the treatment. radiation treatment. So you usually started two weeks uh, before, before yeah. the radiation and that way your like, body's ready for radiation. Yeah. And I hope I can make some really cool stuff with like fruits and veggies and maybe that you guys can try at home as well. So. I mean, we're going to experiment, honestly. <laughs> I mean, we're going to look up like, uh, you know, stuff mm. like recipes for low iodine. But mostly we're going to be winging it because we have the ingredients and we can't really shop anything else until the next two weeks because that's our shopping schedule. So, yeah. Hello everyone and welcome to this video. It really was an experience to go through all of this and there are not a lot of like videos or I guess recipes in a way out there. They tell you what not to eat and what to eat but it's kind of like limiting because for this specific radiation you need to do a low iodine diet and they say 50 micrograms per day is the max that you can consume but really 50 micrograms is nothing so it's just very complicated and there's just a lot of foods that you can't eat but with that being said i gathered the courage and did just really some very unique choices these are some of my favorite ones and i hope if anybody is going through radiation for thyroid cancer and is going to be needing uh, to do this diet then i really do recommend these recipes uh, they were a lot of fun to do and they kind of just encourage you to look on the bright side as you are heading to radiation so here we go also I will say even if you're not needing this type of diet I do encourage you to just try something out new and all of these recipes if you add salt I think they will taste amazing so yeah let's get started on the first recipe so this is one of the first things I made and I was very surprised. I really enjoyed it a lot and it was a lot of cutting, but I just really liked it. All of the recipes that I'm doing, really, I just came up with them on my own. I have this thing where I usually just love to go in the fridge and just see what we have and then from there, like, feel it out. I kind of just like cook with my feelings I don't know if anybody else does that but really it was a challenge because of course I never had to do anything like this and not having salt and realizing how much salt there is on a lot of items that you eat every day even if it's just like one vegetable like broccoli I could not eat so it was just really sad <laughs> to not eat certain stuff but little by little i started learning and knowing what to combine together i was told that lemon or vinegar as a replacement and i could have those so i did end up having a lot of citrusy stuff and which i love because i love citrus and spice like really spicy stuff but of course i know that a lot of people may not like citrus or spicy stuff or they it doesn't feel good on their stomach or they actually can't digest that uh, stuff so you know base it on what you really you know your body would eat and need 
but this is pretty much the result i really loved it it was so yummy and i had two extra oranges after it sort of like for dessert okay so let me tell you about this i am not a fan of soup at all but this soup is so so heartwarming i realized that as i went through the days i got very cold because i didn't really have a lot of salt or i mean i don't know it's just i felt like i wanted warm stuff so i wanted something that would just be like warm and fussy on my tummy <laughs> if that makes sense so i did the soup and i love zucchini and I love cucumbers, so I kind of just gather all of these items together and then actually put some spices this time, ones that I can actually use because they don't have salt. So like onion powder and garlic powder, black pepper, and just kind of mixed it all in and let it boil. It, it just looks so peaceful, like, even looking at it as I'm doing this voiceover, I'm just like, ah. Oh. And of course, like I said, if you guys do want to try this soup, it's really yummy. And with salt, I, it would taste so, so much better because of course it's, it's really bland, but it's just so heartwarming when you haven't had salt for like a week now. So th this was like, my halfway point but i really really loved it and of course i had a bit of dessert after it which were my green grapes and i had some lemonade with it okay so now we're at one of my top favorite favorite recipes so this is probably i would say number one out of all the ones that i made and just because it was like i was celebrating so pretty much this was after the first week and i felt like i did so good i had no salt so i was getting pretty tired and just pretty sleepy pretty drained out because what this radiation does is it kills the cancer cells that are in your body you don't want any other part of your body having iodine and so that's why this diet is done two weeks before the radiation so that you can actually eliminate all the iodine from your body and then once the radiation goes in your system it attacks the cancer cells that are in there and also even some of the good ones because the hope is that if there are any thyroid cells inside left of me that they will probably could come back uh, cancerous or grow into cancer again so they kind of have both of them die with the radiation but yeah anyways <laughs> going back to this recipe it's super super yummy i love 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 to put mustard on certain food items and of course there is a lot a lot a lot of salt in mustard but i saw that there were other items in mustard that don't have salt on them and so i was like wow why can't i just grab those certain items and mix them together with green peppers which i love they're one of my favorites and oh my goodness it was the best thing i did i was so surprised and of course the second dip was the avocado one which it was just lemon and onion a bit of red peppers and this was just so creamy and so soft and it was just so enjoyable to cut everything up and put it together and also squeezing that lemon oh my goodness it smells so nice and i was just very happy overall You can use garlic powder or garlic itself so i was very happy and i kind of put a little bit too much but it was still good so then i took my potatoes off from the warm water i put them in while i did the dips 
and I put them on the oven for a bit, you know, around like 10, 15 minutes. And then from there, I grab them and just fry them. And for some reason, fried potatoes seems like they have salt on them. Of course they don't. And I was using vegetable oil, which has zero sodium and you could use, but uh, it was so, so yummy and such a rewarding meal. And so growing up, I really never liked onions, but as I got an older, I love, love them. I use them on a lot of the food I make. And I was like, whoa, I can have onions. I can have flour as long as there's no salt on it. And the one I have is of course, zero sodium. And so I was like, this is perfect. You can't have the yolk of the egg but you can have the egg whites so i just used the egg whites and did some onion rings and also since i already had the oil i just fried some sweet plantain and it was just really a sweet sweet meal to eat and it was just very simple and that was my meal and then i used the same ingredients that I did for the mustard, which was the turmeric, the paprika, the vinegar, and I also added some lemon and honey to have it as a sauce for the onion rings. And so this was getting to the end of the second week, and I was very surprised by this meal. I never have eating or made butternut squash so i tried to cut it but i was actually just very tired at this point i felt like even though i was making an effort to cook stuff there were certain times that everything i ate just tasted the same um, but the recipes that I'm mentioning right now, the reason why I feel like they were so important to me is because they made that little change. They gave me like that little vibe where I was like, okay, this meal like is so nice and refreshing and I'm so close to radiation now and I just need to make it through a little bit more so I can do this is what I told myself and yeah this this meals definitely did that and that's why I wanted to make this video because if you are going to go through this radiation or you have some specific dieting that you need to do maybe this will help you uh, for your health and for your radiation so yep but yeah at this point i was just very tired i didn't know how to really cook it that well but the spices i added were really good and then what i did that made the whole difference and why i call this a sweet one is because i added honey and lemon and mixed it together with the squash as i was eating it and this made all the difference i had some unsalted crackers on the side and i just ate it and it was it was so sweet and yummy and you'll notice that i started to get into a lot of the sweetness but the next one is my most peculiar item i made <laughs> i will say i was very sketchy about this because at first i was like why am i combining these two items together but at the same time i was like certain stuff just i don't know the taste of anything anymore and of course you know because salt does make wonders like if you go in your fridge and you look at each item that you have there is salt in everything i mean like it's incredible how much i didn't know where salt was <laughs> but 
the reason why I say it's crazy, of course, the ingredients that it has is not that crazy. But when you read peanut butter, then that's where it gets crazy. But surprisingly, the peanut butter with the avocado, the lemon, and the cilantro are such a good combination, and I would recommend this a lot. It's like baby food. I know. All right. All right. Ready? Yeah. It's good. I like. Mm. I mean, this. We're still bad. experimenting, guys. So. Yeah, my stuff look like throw up. But it tastes really good. It looks also like baby food. Well, to me, I can always make peanut butter jelly sandwiches. <laughs> mm. yeah. See, I'm not eating meat. Look at that. Good job. No tuna. I usually eat eggs. I was gonna have tuna, but then yeah, I realized. Yeah, no spam. No sausage. Me, yeah, okay. Because <laughs> they gotta know how obsessed you are with meat. 